Hey folks, this is Nate coming at you on uh, Fragging Night on August, uh, was it August 26th? So, um, I hope everybody has been enjoying the uh, first couple episodes of the Ahsoka series. I know I have. Um, I probably give it a solid seven and a half, eight out of ten so far. Um, really, really enjoying it. Um, so with that in mind, um, I know a few months back I did sort of like this V1 um, uh, uh, lightsaber uh, blade style demo uh, for some colors that I that I had nailed down for Balin Skull and Shin Hati's blade styles. They're they're orange. They're custom orange color. So tonight I want to sort of follow up on that. And I want to do a full suite of blade styles for the Ahsoka series so far um, from what I've seen. So on this config, I've got um, two, two slightly different variants of the um, sort of the corrupted Dark Jedi um, for Bailing and Shin. Um, one is going to be a full step blood orange and the other one is going to be a half step blood orange. So they're slightly different colors, um, but, but very similar. Um, then I've got a blade style for Ahsoka. Um, for Sabine, and then also um, I threw in a uh, blade style for um, the Inquisitor. So um, with that in mind, uh, let's get started. And then the, so the sound fonts. Um, so earlier um, I've been using sort of these mashup sound fonts because we don't really have, um, sound font makers really haven't put out anything like official yet for the Ahsoka series. Um, I can't wait till they do. Um, but sort of the first semi-official one that dropped recently was from BK Saber Sounds um, called Dark Brotherhood. Um, and so that's a really great sound font. So that is um, the one I've paired tonight for the, um, the Shin Hati and Balin Skull um, um, presets, blade styles. And then for Sabine Ren, um, I've paired the uh, Kyber Phonix, the Lost One, which was, um, I think it's not the Lost One. It's what the which, whichever font he made for Ezra. I've paired with uh, Sabine's blade style. Um, the Ahsoka sound font is uh, the Jedi Season 2, Episode 5 from uh, Wan Sith. And then the Inquisitor is Grand Hunter from Kyber Phonix. So some older, older sound fonts, but... Um, definitely fit fitting the theme. So, um, so first up is um, the Dark Brotherhood sound font, and this is matched with um, Balin Skull's uh, custom orange. Now, this one is the half step. This is a slightly darker one, and the reason I dig it this way is because, at least in the series, the first two episodes, the scenes with his style, blade style um, are slightly brighter, like he's in a brighter room. Whereas with Shin, um, her battles predominantly take place in darker rooms. So I wanted to make her variant a little bit brighter. So Balin's is the darker one. Dark Brotherhood. Now this is my uh, half-step custom blood orange. And this is doing a very, very tiny um, emitter flare, which is sort of closer to an orange red. So it's got a little bit more red in the emitter flare. Just to give it a little more, more spice. <laughs> more flavor. So this blade is running, um, this is a 128 14 zero. So it's 128 the red channel, 14 in the green, and zero in the blue channel. And then it's doing a half step, or excuse me, a 75% step in the um, in a hump flicker layer. So it's running a 9610 as a hump flicker. <laughs> Now I had to get a little creative um, with these colorings. Um, the blasts were by far the most challenging 
Um, I actually had all of these blade styles like done, except for the blast. I could not get the blast right to save my life. So, <laughs> um, so what I was finally able to do, because again, these are live action, so you've got that spatter off the blade, right? Sort of like what, um, what you had with the Kenobi series. And that's what I wanted to do. Um, originally, I tried these on the OS6 um, library classes, um, and, I, and I tried all, all methods of um, the different ripple blasts that Fett has available in his library on OS6, but I couldn't get the effects that I really wanted. So I reverted back to OS5 with um, some custom um, blast tra uh, transition steps that I've, that I've done where I modified a standard blast wave or a standard blast bulb. And I added some sparkle layering in the middle of it. So the spatter is more of a sparkle effect. But the challenge was getting the blade color and the effect color um, set up just right where it wasn't um, too bright or too dim. And that was really the problem a lot of, with a lot of these blades. Sabine Wren's blade was by far the toughest. It was actually a little easier to do on these orange blades, but on Sabine Wren's blade it was really, really hard because the green is so bright. Balin skull. Dark Brotherhood. And here's Shin. A little bit brighter. This is the full step. So this is, uh, what is this? This is a 255-280. And actually her blade, now with Balin skull's blade, I did sort of a custom hump flicker where I did like a much faster hump flicker with a smaller hump size. On, um, on Shin's blade, what I'm doing here is this is a, a three-layer surging pulse, one of uh, FET's older surging pulse uh, from OS5 OS library. And then what I did is I took that pulse and I sped it up really fast. Um, so what this is doing is this is like, um, this is a 12,000 measured um, stripe with um, a 7,500 rotation. So it's going really fast. And then it's a three three layer, so it's like two fifty five twenty eight zero on the top layer, and then it's seventy five percent of that, and then fifty percent of that. So it's one hundred seventy five fifty on three three color layers. And then, so this is the exact same blast function on this one that I used on the other one, but you notice a little bit different because the colors are a little brighter. Silver blade. And again, this is another three layer, um, sort of a surging stripe, surging pulse. And this is uh, running, I think, a 110 and then a 95 and then a 75, something like that. So it's running three layers of silver just to give it that flicker. But I didn't want it, I didn't want like a brown noise flicker or a pre LED flicker. I wanted a, I wanted a stripe flicker. So,
Now in in her uh, in this episode, um, separate from some of the earlier live action stuff, like from the Mandalorian, her melt in this one is actually a burning tip. Which you see when she breaks the stone and goes into that temple in the very first scene. So I wanted to get that coloring right. You never made things easy for me, Master. There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. Sabine Wren. And here's Sabine's, and this is a surging pulse green. Very, very bright. Now that three layer surging pulse shows up a lot more prominently on this green blade as you can see it's actually the camera doesn't really do it justice when you're holding it in front of you um, the flicker on it is a lot more intense now what I did for her blasts is I'm using the same sparkle function but it's not on a on a wave it's actually on a contained um, uh, traditional uh, responsive blast and what I did was I added a second transitional layer within that that uses a sparkle. So the main blast is like an orange red, and then the transitional layer uses like a, a really bright color, like a corn silk or a floral white for the sparkles. Hero. That's the sound font that Kyber Phonic used on this one. Loth Hero. That's the the, um, the Ezra font. So that's what that's what this font is. sound font's a little weird. I can't seem to get the ignition sound to play all the time. There we go. And the prion. I gotta check the file on my SD card. It might be it might be um, set up on the wrong bitrate or something. And for this one, I lifted the um, the live action blast spray. Um, from the Inquisitor blade style I did for the Kenobi series. And then just sort of updated the colors a little bit. Um, originally I had it set to white and I set this to more of like a lighter gold. This is just a, so this is an audio flicker with a bright swing. So this is set up as a red, like a hundred, like a 200 zero and then a 100 on the audio flicker, um, on the dual audio flicker. And then the, um, the swing brings it up to a full red, which is like a 255. So the swing gives it like a, maybe a 30, 25 to 30% bright increase. It's very subtle, but in the darkness, you definitely can tell. It's 
Nope. And it's just dry. So um, those are my styles so far um, that I've been working on for the Ahsoka series. Um, I'm still really, really happily anticipating um, what some of you awesome font makers out there come out with um, for this series. Um, yeah, I mean, as soon as I see anything drop from anyone, Juan Sith, Kyberphonic, BK Saber Sounds, um, any of you, Syndicate, uh, K Sith. As soon as you guys start dropping um, Ahsoka series fonts, I'm going to be scooping them up like candy. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, thanks you all for watching. And then as always, I will leave, I'll leave a list of the fonts that I used for this one um, in case any of you are interested in them and liked how they sound and don't have them. Um, I'll leave a list of the fonts I used in the video description as well as, as always, um, a paste bin link to where you can go to grab these styles for your profi saber. Now these, as I mentioned before, um, the styles uh, originally I had them set up in as OS six style classes, um, and then some of them I had to revert back to OS five to get the designs, the specific designs that I wanted. So most of these are set up in OS five. Um, you might see a smattering of some OS six um, style code stuff spattered in, um, in in the middle of them. Don't worry about that that mis mishmash. They will still compile under OS 7 just fine. So, um, so yeah, as always, I'll leave a link to my paste bin for these styles for anybody that would like them. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. Take care. May the force be with you.